egg roll with ground beef. These are the ingredients that you need. Bean thread noodles, one egg, hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, dry black beans or fungus, red chili sweet sauce, vegetable oil, salt, black pepper, and a pair of gloves. Today I'm going to show you a quick and fast way to make egg rolls. Almost sort of the cheating way, but it's just, uh, this is if you're in a rush. Um, I sort of stumbled upon this idea one time when I had to make um, egg rolls for one of my friend's party, and I was in a hurry and short of time, so I decided to make it this way, and I really liked it. It, it was actually quite tasty. You can buy these at any Asian store, actually Southeast Asian stores, or they even have them at um, your regular supermarket. Your bean thread. What you need to do while your noodle is being soaked, you're going to um, cook your ground beef or you can use um, sliced beef like steak beef however you want to do it but I'm using ground beef for the three packs of noodles I decided to use about half of this uh, ground beef pack you can use as much meat as you would like depending on if you're a meat person um, I'm just using half of it and all you're going to do is you're going to make your ground beef as tasty as possible. And again, I've only done this one at a time. Because usually what you would do is you would mix your raw meat into your uh, noodle mixture. But we're not doing that today because I'm in a hurry. You're just going to cook this until it's almost well done, and then you're going to uh, pour it into a bowl and set it in the freezer to cool it down, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now, just like in all my other videos, whenever I want something to cook faster than usual, and for it to cook evenly, I always cover it with the lid, and I let it sit for uh, a few minutes. It's ground beef, so it shouldn't take that long to cook. Alright, it looks like my... Uh, Ground beef is almost well done. I don't want to burn it or cook it too well. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn up my stove. And I'm going to pour my ground beef into a flat plate like this to kind of spread out the heat. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my fridge. kind of hard to do with one hand. And I am going to, let's see, place my meat in my freezer. You have to do this because um, it's not a good idea to have your bean thread noodle um, mixture be too wet. <coughs> and of course the most important thing is to not let it be hot because if it's even a little bit warm, it's going to crack your wrapper. Okay, and I'll show you that in a bit. I'm going to let it sit in here just for maybe five minutes, or um, while it's sitting here, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the rest of my ingredients. Now on the side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil a small pot of water, and this is uh, <coughs> really your preference. I mean, it's optional. Usually, some people, they like to just soak the bean noodle and then um, mix everything in together like that. And other people like to uh, sort of soften the noodle a little bit first. So I went ahead and I started this pot. And once the water boils, I'm going to show you how you're just going to quickly soften your uh, bean thread. You're going to need a large bowl like this and you're going to prepare all of your ingredients and put all of them in here to mix them up. Peel your carrot. 
read your turn. Once your water boils, you're ready to soak your bean bread meter in it. Over here at the sink, you're going to um, take your bean noodle, drain it out, pour it back into the container, pour your hot water into it, and then you're going to just let it sit for a couple of more minutes while you finish preparing the rest of the ingredients. It's been about a few minutes. So my, um, I checked my bean thread noodle and they're nice and soft. So I'm going to just drain them out. Once you drain off the hot water, pour it back into your bowl and rinse it with cold water. You want to do this so that your noodle is no longer hot. You want to bring it back to room temperature. Once your bean thread noodle is back in your bowl, just cut them real quickly to shorten them. Once you are done draining out all the water, just dump in your noodle. And then you're going to crack in one egg. Add a touch of salt to taste. some oyster sauce. You don't want to put too much. Maybe about hmm, a teaspoon or even a table, even a tablespoon if you like the flavor of it and if you're making a lot more. And then some oyster sauce. Then add in some fresh black pepper. My ground beef is nice and cold now so all I'm going to do is Dump in the ground beef and with a plastic glove I am going to mix everything up. Now at some point um, during your preparation you want to start your pot of oil. So here's mine. And I'm going to set my camera and I've already put everything in. So here are my, here's my pair of gloves. So I'm just going to mix this whole bowl up. I'm going to mix it very well. Oops, I just dropped a piece of soup. Now, while you're mixing your noodle, if you feel like some of them are not short enough, because you don't want them to be too long. It's going to be a little hard to grab to put onto your wrapper. So if you find that any of them, any of the bean thread noodle still a little bit too long, just go ahead and cut them with your scissors, just like that. Continue mixing again. Once your mixture is well mixed, you are ready for it to be wrapped. And if you want, a, a good way to test this is to take a little bit of it. And if you don't mind licking the raw egg off of your finger, you can just lick your finger, but I don't do raw eggs. So what I usually would do is I would take a little bit and cook it in a frying pan to see if I like the taste. And if I don't, I can just add whatever else I want to add in. But I'm not going to do it this time because, again, I'm in a rush and... Um, I'm so used to making this, I think this should be good enough already. Oops. Oh, this way. Camera. <laughs> okay, I'm done. These are the egg roll wrappers that, I, that I'm going to use today. I'm going to show you one trick to saving these since I'm only making a small quantity. I'm going to take out um, about 10 pieces of these wrappers and then I'm, I'm going to store the rest of them into a Ziploc bag that I've labeled and put it back into the freezer. When peeling your wrappers just do it nice and slow start from one corner and then just 
take it to the other end just like that and we're up this is how you make your paste to seal up your egg rolls. Most people use the white part of the egg, but I like to use flour and mix with a bit of water. It's just add enough water to make it um, kind of sticky. You don't want it to be too liquidy, okay? Just like that. And now I'm ready to wrap my egg rolls. Okay, you want to just take about that much and put it on the corner. Of your egg root. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, like that. Okay, and then take your finger and pull in tight and then wrap in the two corners. You can use your finger or you can use um, a brush. Set it in a tray like that. Here, I'm going to use my brush. Okay, I finished wrapping my egg rolls, so my oil is hot, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my egg rolls in. Like that. I usually reuse a bigger pot, but again, I'm only making a few. Since I'm making about a dozen, I'm only going to do six at a time here. And considering that this is a small pot, I don't want to do any more than that. Use a tong to help you turn it over. And then you're going to just let this cook until it browns, until the wrapper turns a slight pretty brown. And since the meat is already cooked, you're going to you're not going to leave it in there for very long at all. Okay? So as soon as the wrapper turns a small pretty brown, you're going to take it out. Okay, to make a quick sauce, all you need is of course you need your spring roll uh, sweet chili sauce, and you're just going to pour in oops, however much you want. And then, this is really thick, so you want to add a touch of water, maybe about a tablespoon, and then mix it up. Some people prefer to use, uh, to use fish sauce, but my husband doesn't like fish sauce. So, I'm just using water. Because you don't want to use all that much fish sauce in it. It's going to taste really funny. So even if you want to do water and fish sauce, uh, you just want to use a touch of fish sauce, okay? And you still have to use water. Okay, now that looks like a nice texture. That's it for the sauce. Over here, it looks like my egg rolls are nice and brown. I'm just going to take them out. You want to drain off all the oil and put them into a tray like that. Line it with paper towels so that way the oil will penetrate through it. Like that. Mm. All right, here are the egg rolls. Here's my Spencer. He's one year old. One year old. <laughs> Look at the way he's eating the egg roll. It's a little crazy. Uh, uh.